What's up everybody? This is just a quick uh, little video description of the Parrot MKI 9100 Bluetooth kit. Just finished installing it. Um, overall, very simple. Uh, in my 2000 Jetta uh, with the single DIN Monsoon radio. <clears throat> um, all the plugs for the kit are ISO and the same the plugs on the back of the unit. Absolutely no extra wiring was needed whatsoever. Plug it in, turn it on and go, and uh, everything's been working great. There are some little clicks and pops which you might hear. I think that has to do with the Monsoon amp, and I'm going to contact uh, Parrot to see if there's anything I can do about that. I think I read something that something could be done, but uh, inside my Kobe I have the audio connectors. Um, this is one of the things I really liked about this kit. These, uh, I will be putting these somewhere else, I just kind of stuck them in there for now for easy routing, but you have um, your USB, which I have a memory stick in there now uh, with songs loaded on it. You have a uh, an official iPod connector and also a 3.5mm uh, audio jack for any other MP3 player or anything else that you need. Um, so far it works really great. I like having the connectivity. I did try the DIY mod for the radio and it just had no luck with it whatsoever. Um, microphone, pretty basic. Uh, I stuck it up um, in the middle of my mirror just kind of for the best place to have it. And There are dual mics, noise canceling so far. My, my uh, person on the phone cannot hear any noise whatsoever, just my voice, so that's really good. And there's no echo. Um, display, I have mounted on my dash. Uh, some people might not like where I put it, but uh, the only thing it blocks for me is the... Uh, the gear selection screen, which I never really looked at anyway, because I mean your your shifter tells you what gear you're in, and honestly, I'm not changing gears with an automatic, so uh, it doesn't really block anything. It's perfect view of the driver, um, and it so far it's working really good. Um, as for a remote, I wasn't sure where to put the remote. Uh, it does come with a mount, so you can stick it on the dash. So for now, I just strapped it on my steering wheel. It's nice and solid. Um, it's not really in the way where I have it. It's right side up, so it's easy to easy to read. If you were to put it around on the top, it would be upside down. But um, and that's about it for the kit. Um, you can look online for all of its in-depth features, but I'm just going to go ahead and start the car up and show you how it starts up uh, and how quickly it connects to the phone and, and maybe run through a couple couple little features. But start the car up. Um, radio works as normal. This may start playing my USB stick. I have to see if there's a way I can turn the autoplay off. There, it's connected to my phone already. It does a quick update. Um, you can see the little thing spinning at the top. I guess to make sure your phone book hasn't updated or whatever. And then it goes to network OK. So it didn't start playing my USB stick, which is good. That means it remembers what you did, because I paused it before I shut the car off. So radio functions as normal. And if I push pause, it should switch to my USB stick. And at this point, all the audio is now coming through the Parrot kit. So you have independent volume control, independent EQ, and your stereo is doing absolutely nothing. You can turn it up, turn it down. Pretty sure you can even turn it off. And you still have music coming through your speakers. So to me, that's just really great functionality. And it's very seamless. Um, if you're playing a uh, you know, MP3 or whatever, you can, you can pretty much go in and out of it. Uh, back to the main screen, you just hit pause. And it's, your music's always ready to go. Uh, voice recognition on this real quick. Um, I'm actually going to call my wife and then hang up on her, so this should be kind of fun. Uh, it actually is very good. Uh, you just hit the green button on the remote. Who do you want to call? Amy's cell. Amy's cell. General. Call in progress. It's kind of creepy, the little voice, but... And now you're connected. So let's just hang up on her. I'm sure she'll try to call me back, so maybe we'll get to see how receiving a call is. When somebody calls you, um, you can actually just say accept or reject out loud, and it will either accept or reject the call. So that's kind of nice, too. They did a really good job making it hands-free. Um, the screen itself is really easy to read. I have the brightness turned 
uh, to as bright as it goes for the daytime. It does dim itself uh, at nighttime, so you know that's kind of nice also. Uh, it does talk you through the menus, which I'm not really happy about. Because she's kind of loud and annoying. USB, Bluetooth audio, line in, audio effects, settings. But it's actually not that bad. Phone book. Um, phone book, I mean, it, it works pretty good. B, you, you can kind of go through C, alphabetically. D. So it, wor it, works, it works nice. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, you do have skip. When you're uh, listening to a USB stick, you can skip back and forth, and you can go in. Um, oops, you can go in Phone book. and actually USB. go by artists and albums and songs and genres and playlists. You can really you can really surf the uh, USB stick pretty good. So uh, I'm happy with that. Um, that's about it, though. Uh, there's a lot of features. There's uh, there's um, the new speak to text function. I can't remember what the actual name of it is. It uh, basically lets you li it'll let you listen to emails and text messages as well as compose and send emails and text messages without touching your phone. Um, I haven't done this yet. I'm actually going to sign up for it. You have to sign up for it on the internet and. Um, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but maybe I'll make another quick little video once it gets working. Um, but it seems really neat if it works as good as they say it does. So when you're done, uh, when you're when you're done the car, obviously Volkswagen, uh, when you shut the car off, um, nothing turns off until you pull the key out. This is really nice because if you're still on the phone and you get somewhere and you shut your car off, you know you don't disconnect or lose anything. And I was really concerned, uh, you know, with it just being plug and play in the radio, would it? Would everything on the Volkswagen work with this kit? And it works really well. I mean, everything's still working. Um, and, you know, once you're ready to turn it off, just pull your key out. Stays going for a couple seconds. And then says goodbye and disconnects. And that's it. It shuts itself off. And you're good to go. Everything else still functions like a normal, like a normal car. You can still listen to your radio. Um while the uh, car is off. It won't trigger the unit to turn on or anything goofy like that. Uh, just kind of works just like it does normal normal everyday car except for the addition of the Bluetooth. Um, so that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely uh, shoot me a message or whatever. I, I just I can't say enough about this kit so far. I mean, I, I've only had it for a day installed, but um, so far it's just been really, really nice. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. A couple things I forgot to mention um, when you uh, anytime you're, you you go to idle on your parrot kit such as um, if you're listening to the USB which there's USB uh, if you hit pause um, it just goes back to whatever you were doing on your radio if you had a CD playing if you have the radio going if you had a tape in whatever you're doing or if the radio is off it just you know you won't hear anything uh, it does you know goes right back to your radio so it's pretty it's pretty seamless you can hear I don't know if you can hear pops Hear that little pop. They're your happy holidays. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure what that is. I'm sure it's something to do with the amp. Uh, the, the Parrot kit is pre-amplified. And I, I, some people had told me there might be problems with um, with that, you know, with the amplifier working. But so far it seems fine. It doesn't really seem overdriven or anything like that. But uh, the other nice thing about having the, the Volkswagen electrical system, which is usually a nightmare, is when you start the car, it doesn't kill power to the radio. So when you start the car, it doesn't kill power to your parrot kit. It won't disconnect you and then have to reconnect or do anything goofy like that. It works really good. Um, I really, uh, I really like the way that that you know the Volkswagen handles their power to the radio. So it kind of works out. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get my wife to give me a call back so you guys can see how the thing sounds when you're receiving a call. And I'll talk to her for a couple seconds and then uh, and let you see how that works. All right, guys, uh, just one more video uh, here, I guess. I'm going to play some music here, just like I'm listening to it in the car. I'm going to have my mom, actually, uh, give me a call. I'm going to show you how the voice accept works, talk to her for a couple seconds. Um, then she's going to call me back, and I'm going to reject it, just so you can see how that works. So uh, I don't know exactly when she's going to call me back, but just listen to some music for a second here, and uh, you can see it has the band name and song name. 
I haven't actually tried this yet, uh, the voice accepting a call. I, I always hit the button. So we'll see how this works. My house. Except. Except. Okay, that didn't work. Hello? Hello? Hey, Mom. Hey, how you doing? Good, can you hear me all right? I can hear you great. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, cool. okay. Uh, give me a call back in a couple seconds, but I'm not going to answer this time. Okay, bye. All right, see ya. And it should go back to music. Right back to music. My mom's such a good sport. I don't know why it didn't hear my accept. Maybe it was because my phone is, uh... Maybe it's because my phone is, um... Was confusing it. My house. Reject. There. That, that rejected it. I was kind of sloppy. I don't know why my phone rings. I gotta figure out how to turn that off. Uh, but there you got to hear the ringer. You can turn the ringer off. Uh, usually when you say accept, I think it works. I said reject and it worked. So, yeah, there it is. There's a kind of a crappy demonstration, but you get the point. So, uh, all right, I'm going to put this together and hopefully this helps somebody make a decision on this. I really think it's a, uh, a good kit. One last thing I did forget to mention. <clears throat> um... Some of us live in, in rather, uh, maybe not shady areas, but areas that I don't know if I really want to leave stuff sitting around in my car, like face plates and things like that. Um, if you are worried about that, one of the other nice things about this kit is everything's removable. You can just pop the remote off, the remote slides right off, and the screen also slides right off, uh, leaving very inconspicuous looking useless doodad on your dashboard that most idiots probably wouldn't recognize as being anything important. Uh, cable stashes away, it looks pretty, you know, fairly inconspicuous. Um, microphone, eh, you know, that might clue something away, but uh, the screen and everything comes off nice, and they give you a little carry pouch to keep, uh, I, I think just the screen fits in here, I don't know about the remote, but... Um, it's kind of nice just being able to take it out, especially if you're going to leave your car parked in like a public lot for, for the day or, or anything like that. So just another plus.